let's see how quickly I can do these. Just want to make sure you guys get a chance to pause the video, go through the, these three problems, and maybe you're going through one at a time. But here we go. Half life of a radioactive cobalt is 5.27 years. So that means half life. One half equals e to the kt, but the t is 5.27. And when we take the ln of both sides, we get ln one half equals 5.27 times k. ln of one half divided by 5.27 is equal to k. And we're just going to put a box around that, store that in the calculator. ln of one half, oops, divide by, oh man, sorry. Let's try it again. ln of 1 half divided by 5.27 and we're going to store that value in alpha a. Okay, there's our value for k. And then it says if 100 grams of a radioactive of radioactive cobalt is present now, how much will be present in 20 years? So we're trying to find n and we have K and we're just going to type in a type that in so 100 times E to the 100 times E to the 20 K that's uh, the same answers we got on the last one let me just make sure I do that again okay here we go 100 multiplied by e to the 20 times alpha a. Yep, 7.204. Okay, does that make sense? 7.204 is our first answer, and that would be, let's see, how many? 20 years, the grams. Okay. That's in 20 years. And then how much would be present in 40 years? Well, here's how you can do this. Second entry, and you just type in a 40 instead of the 20. 0.519, okay? So 0.519 grams at the end of 40 years. Okay, so let's just make sure that that's clear. Sorry. And we have at the end of 20 years and at the end of 40 years. Okay. How long from the present time, and that's where we are now, present time, will the number of grams of cobalt reach 12? Well, we're going to put a 12. So to answer that, do that over here. 12 equals, we're starting with 100, e to the k, we already have that. And we're going to solve for t. First thing we're going to do is divide by 100. And then we're going to take the ln of both sides. And we get ln of 12 over 100. And divide that by our k. And that's our t. So let's go ahead and do that. ln of 12 divided by 100, don't worry about reducing the fraction, divide by k, and we're going to get 16.12 years, or years, right? Yep. So t is about 16.120, so 0.12 years. There you go. That's all three parts. That took four minutes. Let's see how we do on number two. Got a colony of bacteria growing according to this particular law of uninhibited growth. It just means that as the as time goes on, the population is just going to get higher and higher. Okay, initial amount of bacteria. That well, that's when t is equal to zero. So we get n sub zero equals 90 times e to the zero, which is which is 90. Okay, so when t equals zero, we get n sub zero and that is 90 times e to the 0, which is 90 times 1. What is the growth rate of the bacteria? Plus, well, you don't have to do any work for that. The growth rate is always going to be 
the k. Okay, k equals 0 0.05. Remember, when k is positive, the population continues to increase. Okay, what is the population after five days? Well, we let t equal 5, and we get 90 times e to the 0 0.05 times 5, and we can type that in. 90 times e to the 0 0.05 times 5. And we get 115 point, hmm, let's see, bacteria, can we have, well, you don't really have part of a bacteria, but maybe you can. 115.562, uh, 115.562, uh, bacteria, okay. And then how long will it take for the population to reach 140? So 140 equals, we're starting with 90, e to the point zero 0.05 times t. Okay, so if we solve that, we're going to divide both sides by 90. And we're, then we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Okay, let's do it in a different color. It looks better. Natural log of both sides. The natural log and the e cancel each other out. We're going to divide both sides by 0 0.05. That gets us our t, and we plug that in, 140 divided by 90, ln of that, divided by 0 0.05, and we get 8.837, 8.837, I always have to check back, that's days, okay. All right, and then what's the doubling time for the population? Well, the doubling time... Let's move right on over here. Doubling time means 2 equals e to the point zero 0.05 times t. So if we started with 90, then we'd end with 180. We divide by 90 and we get 2. So when we take the ln of both sides, the lns go away, or the ln and the e goes away, and we have 0 0.05 t left over. So we get ln of 2 divided by 0 0.05, that's our t, and this is the doubling time. So again, ln of 2, divide that by 0 0.05, we get 13.863, 13.863 days. It takes that long for the population to double. And how long will it take to go to 140? Well, it better be less than that, because 180 is doubling time. So it is. Remember, it takes uh, almost 9 days to get to 140. It takes almost 14 days to get to 180. And in 5 days, it should be less than the 140. And yes, it is. So just some ways that you guys can check your work. And it's really important that the numbers make sense. I've had students write things like, well, it takes, uh, it takes two days to double, well, but then after 100, or after eight days, it's only at 140, and so that those numbers don't make sense. So just make sure you double check on a word problem like this, uh, so you can, you know, just make sure the numbers make sense. And the numbers make sense, they seem reasonable, then more than likely you did everything right. Okay, I'm at my nine-minute mark, so I'm going to sign off here. But let me see if I have a, a good riddle here. Okay, here, how about this one? What is the opposite of I am not leaving? The statement, I am not leaving. What is the opposite of the statement, I am not leaving? I'll get back to you.